a brief video about how you can test the Sync API and Gateway demo application we recently deployed. This demo is exposed in a Kafka endpoint that users can use without credentials to produce messages and validate them, validate their payload. The expected message payload is uh, based on the streetlights example, and you can find more information on the readme on the event gateway repository. There is also a WebSocket endpoint where all messages are being forwarded to, and in the case they are invalid, their payload is invalid, they will include as well a header in the message with the validation errors. So let's see how you could play with it. Um, I'm using two tools here. One is KCAT and, well, also called Kafka Cat, which is basically a Kafka consumer and producer for the terminal. So you can use it or rather use your official uh, Kafka console producer or rather your, use the producer within your code, whatever is is fitting better for you or your project. Uh, the other tool I'm using is WebSocket, which is a simple WebSocket client. And you can use this one, you can use whatever you, you think is better, like a Postman client, for example. Um, so here in the first tab, I'm, I'm going to run a simple loop where I'm publishing uh, this payload, adding few headers, Kafka headers here, just to see them later on the on the payload consume. And also, why not changing the, so specifying the, the key we want to use for the message. Um, in the second tab, you see using Kafka cut here for consuming the, the same uh, topic we are going to use here, just to see everything is being produced correctly. In the last app, I'm connecting to, to the WebSocket endpoint where we will see all the messages that are accepted, um, so that are produced. And also we will see if a message has a validation errors or rather not. So let's start by running the Kafka cat and the WebSocket. Those here are events that are already in the topic. And if we start the loop, we will see that messages are flowing. We see the WebSocket endpoint is publishing all the messages here. The payload is in a base 64 encoded. Okay, so everything seems to work. Um, what happens if we'd rather add an invalid payload? Lumen should be integer, but here we are going to add a Boolean. Okay, so we see that they are still being published because we configured it in that way. We didn't say if uh, the payload is invalid, just don't don't store them. We'd rather say um, the validation errors here in the WebSocket. So as we can see, this is a JSON schema validation and it's saying that expected integer, but we gave a Boolean. So this is all you can do right now. So you can imagine uh, the possibilities of this. So you could configure your event gateway to just stop the messages that are invalid and don't let them be produced in, into the topic. You could use different things like uh, forwarding this error to another topic or, or maybe renqueue them to another um, key system or whatever you want, right? So this is all, this is all we have right now on this demo and thank you for watching.